Hello, hello. Time for another count review. Uh, this time we are looking at uh, Creso 666, this account. And um, he actually had a well, a combination of questions. Um, he wanted to know who to six star first and how to put up a well, the best arena defense. Um, both can be quite hard questions to answer, um, but sometimes the answer presents itself also. So um, let's see what monsters he has and uh, how we can build them. Let's uh, just take the six star question first. Um, it's it's all a matter of actually seeing which monster benefits the most from being six star. And uh, when you move a monster from five to six star, the main thing that changes are, of course, the stats, hit points, attack, defense. Uh, speed does not change. Um, so if the monster is dependent on the HP, very good. It's a good 6 star element, or it's dependent on the attack and defense, same thing. Now if it's a support monster, like, well, let's take uh, Bernard as an example. His main usage is uh, there to give the uh, defense break, uh, and of course the attack bar buff and uh, the speed buff with his uh, tailwind uh, skill and uh, his body slam. And then uh, Snatch can also um, do a little damage. But he doesn't benefit a whole lot from being 6 star. He will of course have a little more survivability uh, as he has more hit points and defense. But other than that, there's not really any reason to 6 star him. Now, take Amon. Um, he's heavily dependent on two things. First thing is the crit rate, and you have that almost at its target, but 99, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, now his second stat is really his hit points. Uh, it needs to be as high as possible. Uh, and we all know the reason why, it's this skill. Now it recovers 12% of his max HP, so you, the higher you can get that, with a crit rate of 100% or very very close, it's the best. So um, he would benefit greatly from being 6 star as his base hit point would increase and thus the bonus will also increase from all the hit point percent rules that you could put on him. So, um, well, with the monsters I see here, I I think the choice, well, I cannot give you the exact choice, because I'm, I'm split between two. Now, Aman, as he is uh, already at very close to max crit, um, he's definitely one of the possibilities to do. Now, for the runes, um, you, you have been forced to go all blade, uh, and it, it's okay to start with that. However, um, well, this rune you really need to swap out for an HP percent rune. Um, defense is okay for his survivability, but you, you really need HP percent there. This of course needs to be a crit rate rune, and uh, I would not upgrade this any further. Uh, I would wait until you found a 5 or if you're really good, lucky, a 6 star crit rate rune and update that instead and you have a fine um, hit point rune here and of course look for hit point percent or crit rate as you have here, very nice um, and hit points in, in 1, 3 and 5 uh, so he's definitely a possibility and one that I think your account would benefit from having 6 start. Now the other is a more offensive monster. Uh, it's the Soha. 
it uh, its base attack uh, will increase quite well uh, from being six star, and it has very various usage. Um, it is really good on the offense and can deal quite a lot of damage with uh, skill one and two. Now for the third skill is um, well, it does do quite a lot of damage as well, but uh, the main thing here is actually the removal of all beneficial effects. Now, this uh, is a very sought after monster for the arena in the offense state, as uh, if you get up against a team, let's say a Chloe speed based team, even though she gets to go first and uh, put a vulnerability and immunity on everyone. So I just removes it, and you're good to go. Of course, she, she will need to be the fastest unit on your team, and not be faster than the Chloe on the enemy team. So it, it, it is a bit situational, but um, if you want to cast it right away anyway, but um, she's a really, really good monster as well, and you can use her in various ways as well, so I would uh, suggest that you 6 star uh, one of these first. I would not put uh, any more into this, and, and Liches are not the greatest unit, I must admit, so I wouldn't 6 star that either. Um, so so the, the, the choice is really between uh, Soha and Aman from the monsters that you have uh, awakened on 5 star at the moment. Um, not really sure that you have anything in the pipeline. No. Not really. So that, that will be my choice for the 6 stars. Um, if you go with the man first, I would do Soha next and vice versa if you go the other way. So that would be my advice for the 6 star. Now for the arena defense, um, that is always a hard question to answer since it, they, they are very hard to generally define to be able to defeat most enemies. And also you are always dependent on that damn AI. So, um, I think... Well, you don't really have the basis of building an all-speed team with a speedy kill for the enemy uh, if you go first. We do have uh, the Bernard ready. Um, I don't know actually how fast... Oh, he's not ruined, so... <laughs> um, but yet I don't see you have the follow-up monsters for that, so going first will, won't benefit you just as much. Um, so I think I'm gonna go for a slightly more defensive build um, with the water undine um, as she can uh, revive and also a uh, heal um, a bit uh, and um mm, might choose her for the leader and then put in Soha as well and Aman and uh, I think didn't I see him down here yes I did the light self for his uh, uh, yeah you have already ruined him with the uh, despair runes uh, well you need a a bit different um, setup of despair, but the the main thing is that despair is here. Um, really, what you will want to have uh, on your uh, self is a well speed uh, in two, and you will want attack percent in in four, and then an accuracy rune in six. Um, so please, please go look for that, and you will of course need to awaken him as well, but I know it's a 
it's a struggle to get those high essences, but uh, he will benefit greatly from that. So I would, but I would, well, you really need to have him at least five star awakened before he has the p real potential in the arena defense team. So we, well, temporarily we could go for the economy FB for the extra uh, heals and also removal of our harmful effects. Um, and he will benefit from the 40% extra defense from the water undine. Um, oh, I was you haven't ruined her. Um, well, of course, you might want to awaken her as well uh, for the max uh, benefit from her. And uh, I think I would actually just ruin her mostly for for attack. Uh, so fatal blade set up with attack percent crit rate and attack percent. Um, yeah, that that will be my choice. So, the water undine for the leader. Uh, then put the uh, Soha Aman, and temporarily put in uh, Kunamia. Um. Yeah, really, really. I'm a bit in doubt with that Konomiya there, but um, I think before you get the light self up to speed, um, yeah, okay, the Konomiya is not ruined right either. Um, if you want to use the Konomiya for uh, the arena, um, you really need, well, not only the arena actually, but uh, you need swift energy on it. Uh, and uh, you would have a speed in 2 and HP percent in 4 and 6 for the survivability. Um, and then it would be fine. I think, yeah, that's it. Uh, swift energy for her, him, her, I don't know, <laughs> birdie. Um, Yeah, that'll be good. Undyne as leader, Soha, Aman, Konomiya, and then that will be your defense. Uh, I think that's the best I can build for you at the moment. Um, and when your light self is up to speed, you can always uh, exchange Konomiya for that and see if uh, the effect will be better or Konomiya is uh, quite okay. Now I know that setup being uh, mostly water units uh, will be a delicious cake for Lucian as he ignores defense but you we, we really can't plan for everything and uh, not everyone has Lucian so you might lose to the Lucian's teams but uh, yeah it's the best of the advice I can actually give you at the moment so uh, that's it for me now um, I hope you can use this and uh, take care. Uh, Vault is signing up. Bye bye.